Hi, this is Dave Shapton from Red Shark, and we're at CabSat 2017 in Dubai. Uh, I'm here with Gavin from Glen Sound. Hi, Gavin. Hello, Dave. And uh, so we're going to have a quick talk about uh, these products, which are your main line, I guess, is commentary boxes. Commentary certainly is what we've been very well known yeah, yeah. for. Can, can you just, just explain to anyone who doesn't know what that is? So a commentator's box is the device that the, uh, the commentator or announcer at a football match or a, a, a cricket game will plug his microphone and his headphones in and it gives him a, a, a mixer to adjust levels of things he wants to listen to and gives him buttons to allow him to uh, select where he's talking to, either on air or off-air communications, sort of like an intercom. Now, uh, in video, one of the biggest subjects is, is video over IP, and you're starting to move into audio over IP using Dante, which is a, a well-known uh, system for, for sending audio, professional quality audio over a network. So uh, how, how have you actually approached that transition in, into IP? Well, there's no doubt for a number of years our customers have been wanting to use an audio over IP solution. Um, uh, uh, seven or eight years ago, we wrote the AES 57 standard with the BBC and actually designed a, an audio over IP, but that was audio over ATM circuits. Um, uh, that worked, and the, um, but it wasn't commercially successful, and ATM was not really the right IP backbone to use. Um, we kept a very heavy eye on the market of uh, audio over IP, and uh, when uh, Ravenna first came about and Dante started to appear, we evaluated them both very carefully and uh, it was quite clear to us that Dante was a solution that was achievable, adoptable and workable um, and we're very pleased we went down that route because it's the one that the customers seem to like and seem to want. And the really interesting thing it is to me uh, to maintain standards and, and you know reliability uh, it all revolves around a, a, a chipset, a standardised chipset, is that is that right? Uh, that's correct. It's one of the uh, beauties, of really, uh, one of the clever things that Ordinate have done is they've kept control of the, uh, of the actual audio over IP processing. So it means all manufacturers' um, equipment using uh, Dante cards will genuinely talk to each other with, uh, without any problems. With, with AES67, if we wrote our own AES67 code, the chances are we would do something subtly different than another manufacturer and you don't quite get genuine interoperability. That's a very familiar story, but by using Dante you're avoiding all of those potential issues. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we were amazed a couple of years ago we first took part in a plug fest with Dante and uh, they had us and had about 12 other manufacturers there. We just plugged into a network and every bit of kit just talked to every other bit of kit with no fiddling, no working behind the scenes, it just worked first time. Right, that's really interesting. Thanks very much, Gavin. Um, where can people go if they want to find out more about Glen Sound products? Um, the website glensound.co.uk. Fantastic. Thanks very much indeed.